Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we've got some biker mics from Mars Goodness. Now, this is called the Transporter and Secret Lab. Sorry, Dr. Carl Bunkle's Transporter and Secret Lab. So the story goes, a few months ago, um, a friend messaged me and said, oh, they've got this at the local convention I'm in. Do you want it? And I said, what's the condition like? Is it all good? He said, yeah, it's all good. It's, all good. it's looking good. It's all there. And um, so it was like £30 thought I checked on eBay, the only ones I could see at the time were more expensive than that, so I thought, ah, sod it, go, go for it, you only live once. And then I received it, and I didn't realise that the box kind of looked like this. So as you can see, it's been ripped. Um, it's a bit faded as well. So I wouldn't have bought it, uh, not for £30 anyway, I would have like knocked it down or something, but I, I can understand like maybe a rip on the side of the tear of the cardboard or something, but this is pretty poor condition, so I wasn't happy with it to be honest. However, being a Biker My Smiles fan, and it's walked under the bridge now, there's nothing I can do about it, um, it was something I fancied picking up. So. I never heard of it until that message. Um, so basically what it is, it's a secret lab that transports a character to another dimension or something. Transports, transporter makes figures appear and disappear. Ooh. Now, everything was there. What I didn't realise, some of the stickers were a bit bent. So they haven't gone on as well as I'd hoped, but I'm going to glue those. I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm talking about. But everything else was included as far as I can tell. And here is the object in question. Look how tall it is. It looks like a Dalek or something, especially the back. Exterminate. Exterminate. So this is the transporter lab. As you can see, some of the stickers on the top there are peeling off because they were bent. So if I screw those down, we should be okay. So normally I wasn't going to um, put the stickers on, but because they were in a bit of a poor condition, I thought I'd save them while I can and just get them on there. So this is your front. So this is the chamber. Got a door by here which opens. It's not going to open for me because every time I try to open it, it never opens. There we go. So as you can see inside, some stickers, that sticker was already put on, um, some of the bottom as well, I don't know if you can see that in there. And yeah, so you've got a plastic clip in here, you're supposed to clip an action figure in there, and then do a magic trick and it will disappear. Just let me show you the rest of the box first. The rest of the box. There you go. Takes me a while to grab it. So on the back then, we've got some uh, kind of experimental devices and weapons. We've got like a, two laser beams on this side, it's orange and blue laser. On this one, you've got a claw, and this one's called a proton probe. Yeah, I don't know, I wouldn't like to say what that does. We've got a little lever on the side that makes a noise when you... Uh... Yeah, awesome. And there's a chamber by here that does open if you pull it down. It's got to be careful not to knock everything off. There you go. And it's got a sticker inside. So we're pulling back up for now. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so like, these were the sheets of stickers came on. As you can see, it is a bit bent, so that's why I decided to do that. Comes with the instructions, so I knew how to put it together. It was quite easy. Um, yeah. It tells you where to put the stickers and how to construct the thing inside. And it does come with an action figure as well. Right, so there's the construction uh, instructions. Construction instruction. Oh, and here is Fred the Mutant. I don't know why he's all green. Must be something to do with the experiment. And, um, there's also here a couple of weapons. You've got like an axe, a hammer, some kind of like laser gun, and a knife. So I imagine you could possibly attach those to somewhere on here. Um, 
Yeah, so this is our little experimental Fred the Mutant. Um, I've got a... I did have an action figure of Dr. Carbuncle, but I can't remember, or well, I can't find him, basically. When I was doing my 90s kid last year and going in the attic, I could not find him anyway. I'm not sure if I had him or not. So, basically, we want to make Fred disappear. So I'm going to try and do this without breaking the thing. So we've got our chamber, our mini Dalek, our transporter. We're going to open the door again. There you go. You've got to kind of put pressure on one side when you open it because it will not open properly. So inside, I don't know how well you can see it, we have a clip. It's like a claw. It's, there you go, I think you can see a bit better there. So we're going to clip Fred in. I always get scared of this part because I'm not sure I don't want to break this. Right. Do, 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 do. Get in here, bugger. Right. Finally got Fred clipped in. I didn't want to put too much pressure on there. That's why it took a while. Going to close the door. This is a hard video to do. And then we're going to pull our little lever. Right, I can see what's happened there. His arms are stuck in right. Right, he didn't go then because his arms were up. Now his arms are down. So we're going to close the door. Right, door's closed. Going to press the lever. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Okay, right. So it's, for some reason, it's not turning when Fred is uh, clipped in. So I'm just going to rest him at the bottom. Then... We're going to press the lever. I think that worked. So then, when we open the hatch back up, Fred is still there. Okay, guys, this is like my fifth attempt of trying this now, but I think I've got it nailed. Fred keeps on getting caught, but I think this time it's going to work. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up the hatch. We're not going to clip him in. Or should we? See if it works. Should we do that? Yeah, let's clip the bugger in. Right, Fred's clipped in. I'm going to close the hatch. And we're going to... Pre oh, the sticker's falling everywhere now, isn't it? One second, do want that to... Go this. Okay, going to pull the lever down. And then when we open the door... Fred is no more. Where is he? Oh, what kind of trickery is this? But if we open up the hatch at the back, you'll see Fred is right there, ready and waiting for us. Or waiting for Dr. Carbuncle to uh, do some nasty experiments on him with the claw, the uh, drills. Ah, oh, this uh, lovely little probe right here. So, just pull Fred out, and he'll rest on the... And that, guys, is pretty much it. Close it back up. Press the lever up. And then, the claw, the grabber, has gone back to the front again. So there you go. That is basically... The Transporter and Secret Lab. So, in fairness, this would be a pretty cool toy when you're a kid. And obviously it does nothing for me now. Frustrates me quite a bit that you didn't work first time, or the second, or the third, or the fourth. Maybe I'll do what it takes at the end. Um, yeah, but it's pretty cool to have because, you know, I used to quite like bike mice quite a lot. I'm into my nostalgia, especially in 90s stuff. There's one thing I haven't shown you yet. So you might think this is a pretty big toy. This is just going to get away. You know, mum and dad, what are you going to do? Well, the lid actually lifts up. There we go. Oh, and the sticker comes flying off with it. But that's fine. And then you have a little storage compartment to put all the accessories in, including Fred himself. So I think it's caused us enough trouble today. That, guys, is it. This is the Transporter and Secret Lab. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Did you have it?
that would be interesting to see because I've never heard of it until now. Um, yeah, so on the side, this kind of shows you how to work it. It's got, um, what's his name? Electromag in the transporter being operated by Carbuncle. And Carbuncle's doing all his experiments there at the end. Oh, that's where the weapons go on the side. Wow. So they go on the side of the, um, the chamber at the back. And on the back here, it's got a um, scoreboard hideout. There. Now that is something I did have as a kid, but it's gone out a long time ago, I think, because I haven't seen uh, any trace of it for, well, years and years. So it's got to be gone. Still got the bike mice in the bike, so if you saw my Visual Nights Kid video. Right then guys, thank you for watching and join me next time for more nostalgic goodness.